Patricia Whitmer declaring a state of emergency last night with widespread damage across most of the state. Fox News' Robin Murdoch is live, and Robin, the cleanup, it's going to take a while. Yeah, it's going to take a long time for a lot of these communities uh, dealing with flooding issues, other storm damage is issues. We're in uh, Moreau County right now, right outside of the Frenchtown Villa mobile home community here in Newport, and uh, they've got quite a bit of damage here as a result of those storms. I'm going to step out of the way. They've been keeping us behind this police tape all morning uh, for our safety, really, because it's been so dark. They haven't been able to really assess what may be blocking the roads. We're weren't able to assess the true damage out here. So again, they were keeping us behind this police tape for our safety. I can tell you, though, that there have been some pictures that have been circulating around social media as of late, and they show a trailer that is on its side, at least one car that is turned upside down. There's also trees that have been scattered and uprooted all over the place. We're told there was even a gas leak at one point following those high winds and those hard rains that blew through just before 11 o'clock last night here in Newport. Again, there is significant damage, but we won't know the full extent until the sun rises even more this morning. Take a listen to a man who actually sought shelter in his bathroom with his family when that storm hit. Craziest wind I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely. Uh, I've never seen anything like that. We have the, a big willow tree right in our front yard. I'd say that thing was bent over. I'm surprised it's still standing. I couldn't believe it. Now that gentleman is one of the lucky ones. His home was not damaged at all. Nobody in his home uh, was hurt at all. Uh, right now it is unclear whether this was straight line winds, perhaps whether this was something more. Uh, we are waiting for that to be determined. Also unclear the extent of injuries. We do have several calls out right now to try and figure that out. And when we get more details, we'll be sure to pass them along to you.